Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Sports Talk for a Thursday evening. Art Salzberg with you tonight. Dean Fantasi has the night off. And we are joined by Blake Sebring of the New Sentinel, the man who covers the red-hot Fort Wayne Comet. <laughs> and Blake, it's a pleasure to have you tonight. We'll talk quite a bit about Comet hockey. And then on Volvo Sports Talk and Dean Fantasi with the night off, we are joined tonight by Blake Sebring of the Fort Wayne New Sentinel. A rather tired Blake Sebring, who's been covering the Fort Wayne Comets since the inception. How many weeks did you say the season runs? We figured out the other day the season lasts 38 weeks. Well, it's almost over, and you've got to be excited because this team is playing great hockey. Oh, it'd be, it'd be tremendous if they're winning. It'd be so much more difficult if they were losing than they're right about. I can, I can imagine. Um, three and oh now. Is the Atlanta series wrapped up? Can we say that? I don't think so. Um, I don't think so because Let's look at it this way. The players aren't saying that at all. They're saying that they have to come out and play the same style they've been playing because they expect Atlanta to have one more super effort. Well, if if Fort Wayne should happen to lose tomorrow night, and oh, yeah. in the jungle with that crowd tomorrow night, it would take a yeoman effort by Atlanta. But if Fort Wayne would lose, then it shifts the balance a little bit. You go back down to Atlanta, and things could get interesting, I suppose. You no, know, there's one more game Saturday night then would be played here also. Oh, that's right. Well, three, what happens? That's right. Three in a row. Three in a row. What happen is is that if the Comets would if Atlanta would win tomorrow night, that means the next night's playing for the trip back to Atlanta, and anything happens then. And the last two games would be back in Atlanta. I stand corrected. Uh, that's correct. Three games in a row here, and then the last two in Atlanta, if necessary. Right. That's right. I should know that. We've been talking. <laughs> we've been talking all week about ticket availability for Friday and Saturday. Sure. Brain cramp here. Brain cramp. Okay. Uh, who would you rather see the Comets play for the Turner Cup? I think I don't think it matters. I mean, the way this team's playing right now, I just don't believe it matters. I would like to see, personally, I like to see Kansas City. Kansas City's never won a Memorial Coliseum, but we have a similar problem out in Kemper Arena. So, but I, I'd like to see Kansas City. I'm not convinced. San Diego's not half the team they were at the start of the year. They're just they're just not there right now. Oh, there's that music. That comet music. <laughs> we love it. It is 723 on Wolos Four Star. Just got a call from Comet General Manager David Frank. He says tomorrow night's game is officially a sellout. It's great news. Going to be tougher for Atlanta to win in the jungle with 8,000 plus fans screaming at them. And then Saturday's game, if it is necessary, there are still tickets available, some 3,000. But let's hope it won't be necessary. Well, you can still buy your tickets for game one of the Turner Cup Finals, then. That's true. That's true. These would transfer right in right. to game one of the Turner Cup Finals. One more quick question for you, Blake, before we hit the phones. The status of Pokey Reddick? Uh, Pokey was fine in practice today. He was, just took part just like normal. Uh, he looked okay. I mean, he was bruised up a little bit, but not nothing major. Okay. And to the phones we go. This is for Blake. Mm-hmm. Um, Tom and Hockey, uh, do you foresee the uh, International Hockey League going to some salary caps also? No, because I don't think the owners will uh, ever buy it. <laughs> I mean, they just can't agree. I think that that was a big topic at their last meeting in in Denver, from what I understand. They just couldn't. They just couldn't agree on anything. If they don't agree, Blake, does that bode ill for the Fort Wayne franchise and other more or less small city franchises down the road? Well, I'm working on a story on that, and I really can't. Oh, think, so. okay. Well, well, we'll be sure to look at the paper then. Also, I wanted to compliment you on your article with Kevin McDonald. It was a nice article. Oh, thanks, Sue. Sue, thanks for the call tonight. Get I'll better. Have to go. Okay, get Bye. better soon. Bye. Right, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> you must have known her. That's Sue Tilbury from Heroes and Friends. Oh, of course. Well, you, you would know her she, voice. She I know. fell at the game last night and banged herself up pretty good, I guess. She was injured at the hockey game yep. and not on the ice? Nope. I thought maybe there for a minute she played. Actually, there were comments standing around, and she got injured. Were there? Yeah, they had to help Ooh. her up. Sounds like a scandal to me. She's doing okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't body check her or anything. Huh? No. Okay. Four six seven eleven ninety. Whoa, whoa, sports talk, and there's that music once again. I hear that in my nightmares. <laughs> I'll bet you're used to that song. Let's have a little more. Yeah, if you ask me to twist, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> How about an Elvis impersonation? No. Right it is the Comet song, and the Comet's red hot, of course, 3 0 over Atlanta. But, Blake, the crowds have not been there. Again, last night, not a sellout, 7,500 fans. They are sold out for tomorrow night, which is great news. But why do you think it is that we are not getting sellouts for the playoffs? I don't know. It's just, 
I don't sense the atmosphere in town that I did two years ago when the Comets had their great playoff run. And I, I, I wonder if it's because this team hasn't fought and it hasn't had to fight because it's good enough to win games without it. I wonder if that's part of it. Um, I think part of it's the Wizards. It's pretty much the same target audience. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I've asked, I asked Dave Franke today about it and he didn't have a, an, an easy answer either. It just doesn't seem to be one. I mean, the players haven't noticed any difference at all and it was loud enough last night. You thought it was a full house. It certainly was. I mean, I saw some, uh, some Kent Horman cut-ins on uh, KJG and I was listening to the game on the radio and boy, oh boy. I mean, the crowd was making a lot of noise. Yeah, it was an intense crowd. Well, we have 15 minutes left in Wolvo Sports Talk for the and they're going to the Turner Cup final. Maybe people feel Boy, anybody is, I think one of the things we talked about before we went on the air is that the two games in Atlanta, comparing them to this game, there's no comparison. The two games in Atlanta were the best games of the year. Intensity, I mean, they were just, they were great, great hockey games. And last night's game was, there was just no comparison. It was a good game. It was not a bad game by any means, but it just didn't compare. Well, Tim wants to talk hockey, so Tim, you're on the air. How are you guys doing tonight? Good. Good. Yeah, I think last night, might have uh, deflated Atlanta a lot. I think uh, that second period, the comments really showed uh, they played really good hockey. It was a re- good period they played. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think, I think Atlanta might have been deflated before. Even yeah. that. I mean, they weren't, they didn't seem to me to be charging off the boards yeah. too quickly. I mean, even, even a lot of stupid the penalties. Period, right. You could tell in the first period that comments were off their game and they were still controlling playing the boards. Yeah. Well, I think what this, this team has gotten to the point where you're not going to shake it off its game because their game right now is defense, and you can do defense any day, even if you're not scoring. That's the I mean, and, and you look at the third period, with six minutes to go, Pokey gets hurt. They get one shot from the point the whole rest of the game, and that's it. That's what the games were like in Atlanta. They just shut them down. They just smothered them. That's the big difference between this team and the team that went to the final. Oh, it's what, a total difference. Months, I believe. That's a total difference. Yeah, he's got was more uh, do you think Steve Fletcher will play tomorrow night? I have no idea. I'm. It's the same with all the rest of the guys. Yeah. I think Steve will play sometime, but I don't know if he'll play tomorrow. I mean, yeah, I, 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 uh, I don't know. They, they, they look like a pretty big team, but we've handled them for three games. I just, you know, tomorrow night, it, you know, they may come out and just throw some cheap shots. And I just wonder if <laughs> any more than play. usual or. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, one quick thing about that East Coast League you talked about last week about uh, with the salaries and that getting escalating in the IHL that it may put the Comets in a position where they may have to go down a leak. I worry about it. Blake, I worry about it, but I just can't. If that happens, I can't see Well, there's, Wayne there's a story coming out in the paper next week. week that will help help you sleep at night. How's that? Okay, Blake is going to give us a hint on the story he's been working on here. I'm not worried about it. I know what I'm going to be doing for the next 30 years. So Do you guys think Fort Wayne would support an East Coast Hockey League? Yeah, I, I think they would. It yeah. wouldn't be the same scale, but... Yeah, I, I don't think it will. I think well, why not? We're, we're supporting single-A baseball. Sure. Oh, damn. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting, though, because you look at what the eye has done, and, and I give credit to the powers that be because yeah. they have they have moved it into big city status. It's right. a major league now. Right. And Las Vegas next year. Denver. Oh, yeah, it's big time. You know, you look at the HL. The HL used to be king years ago, and now... I think the IHL is a kingpin over I think the IHL is dying in a hurry. Uh, but the Comets certainly have a showpiece franchise here. The Frankies have done a marvelous job. They sure do. Yeah, they uh, good marketing uh, marketing with the club. Jim, thanks for the call. Okay, sir. appreciate it. The hockey question, Blake, uh, while you are here this evening, actually it's more of a statement. Uh, I think Al Sims and Dave Frankie have done an unbelievable job at putting these guys together. Yeah, it was a little bit different than what it was two years ago and even last year. Uh, they got some guys that have a little bit more talent. They got a lot more speed. They got Kevin McDonald when they needed some toughness and, and some rah-rah in the locker room. And they got JM, John Mark Richard, and, and Peter Hankinson when they desperately needed both of them. 